Hello, and welcome to my renovated garage in the Berkshires. In the first episode of the season, we got to catch up with the ladies, and things are and that good. First, we checked in on failed talk show host and wife Bethany Frankel. The B is back, and she is not living in apartment 23, because Skinny Girl is homeless. As she cries in the back seat of a limo to a real estate agent, Gay Patrick Bateman, we see just how hard it is for Bethany to be living in the presidential suite of a hotel while she waits for her Manhattan apartment to be finished remodeling. How does anyone expect Team Skinny Girl to work out of a presidential dump like that? We also caught up with Ramona Singer, and it appears Moroccan Psychic was correct. Mario was cheating on her. Crazy Eyes is barely holding it together, choking back tears on Madison Avenue while she talks with her old bud, Sonia Tremont Morgan. It was the first time they had talked since Ramona broke up with Mario, but Sonia could hardly be bothered, and she only wanted to talk about how difficult her divorce was from five years ago. Now is not the turtle time, Sonia. Not that Sonia has any time to deal with anyone else's unraveling. She's barely hanging on by the thread that Satoko uses to shape her eyebrows. Everyone in their Molly Ringwald is none too pleased with Sonia's erratic and self-centered behavior, particularly Countess Luann. Despite the two being at odds with each other, Countess Luann still invited her and the rest of the gals to her new bachelorette pad that she purchased after her and Bronson Pinchot went split skis. Also invited to the weekend away is Carol, Heather, and Kristen. Kristen is living in marital bliss now that her husband Josh finally realized that those cameras were on. Carol's pregnant with a book baby, and Heather is alive. Which brings us to the newest housewife, Dorito. She's not, in fact, married, but she does have a teenage daughter who seems to be fond of designer purses and penciling in her eyebrows with a black sharpie marker. Do we need this woman in our lives and in our living rooms? I don't know. I'm gonna say probably not. But no matter what, I think this is gonna be a great season. Strap on your yummy tummies, girls, cause this is gonna be a bumpy ride. Cause we're throwing housewives under the bus. Holla!